What's going on guys? Today we're going over some of the best Retina iPhone themes for the month of February. Alright, so up first is a theme called Edgy HD, and this one is $2.50 from the Mod My Eye repo. And this one was meant for the iPhone 4, but you can get the iPhone 5 patch, and it's called Edgy HD iOS 6 and i5 patch, and I'll leave that in the description below. Alright, so this theme is really nice and slick. You can see that they've got the square edges for all of the icons. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Safari, Messages, Phone, Music, Facebook, Weather, and Camera, and see if there's any customization inside the apps. But first, let's go ahead and drop down a Notification Center, and you can see here that the Notification Center is also themed. So that's really nice. Let's bounce into Safari real quick. So Safari, you've got some changes on the on the bottom here and the top for the banners. Let's uh, go back to the home screen and go into the messages application. Now these messages that you see here in blue are iMessages, so that's actually a message being sent to another iPhone. And the text message uh, icon looks a little bit different as far as the color. So let's bounce back to our home screen and go to the phone application. And phone, you've got a custom dialer there as well. Looks pretty decent. Let's go back into the music application. Uh, music is really nice. I like the uh, the white at the bottom with the Android green uh, color for some of the icons like play and the volume slider here. And uh, the top also themed. Let's go back out of here and into Facebook. Facebook is not themed. Everything else is uh, regular. Everything is business as usual in there. Weather looks really nice on this theme and the loading screen I like, I like as well. Um, so here you've got the weather also customized. So that looks pretty good. And finally let's go to the camera camera you just get this custom uh, white at the bottom here and the icons look a little bit different as well so all in all this theme is pretty nice again this one is called edgy hd and it's two dollars and fifty cents from the mod my eye repo so this theme is called oris and it's two dollars and seventy cents from the zod ttd and max city repo so this one is a really nice and customizable clean theme uh, you've got two different skins you've got the white skin here and you can also get a dark skin but i'll show you the white for now um, first of all let's go ahead and show you the lock screen so lock screen, you get to choose from a barrage of different wallpapers, so I'll go ahead and show you that. So in your settings application, if you just scroll down to brightness and wallpaper, and tap on that and go into wallpaper, and if you scroll down, you've got all kinds of Oris wallpapers that are installed for you. Um, so you can just take your pick, whatever one you like is whatever one uh, you can go with. So let's go ahead and test out the notification center here. If we drop that down, we've got an all black theme with some white text. Looks pretty sharp. Let's go into Safari. Safari's got the uh, white banner at the top and the black banner at the bottom with the white icons. And I like this little shine, this little glow at the bottom of the screen there as well. Um, let's go into the messages. And in messages, you've got these silver messages with the black text. Let's go into the phone application. Phone application is completely customized as well with these circular white buttons. And I like this call button at the bottom there, so that looks pretty good. Uh, let's try music. So in the music application, pretty much everything here is black and you've got some customized icons there like uh, shuffle and whatnot. All of those have changed as well. There's no customizations for this one in Facebook, so I'll go ahead and show you the weather weather looks really nice I'm um, definitely liking that style right there and let's go into the camera and I think camera is a little bit different yeah you've got this really nice uh, button for your taking your pictures and the bottom is black as well all right so again that one nice and clean this one's called Oris from the Zod TTD and Max City repo all right so next up is a theme called I shady HD and this one comes from the mod my eye repo for two dollars and fifty cents now it also has an iPhone 5 widgets add-on, so you can add on uh, like a weather widget, but I stuck with the stock one here. And I really like this theme for a lot of different reasons, but the main one is the notification center. I like this uh, orange and blue kind of look, and I'm an Oklahoma City Thunder fan, so it definitely works for that as well. So let's bounce into our Safari application. As you can see, nothing much going on here, just the regular, uh, the black on the top and the black on the bottom. Uh, messages, you got a really nice customized uh, messages experience here. You've got the light blue incoming messages and the darker blue outgoing messages. Uh, so let's bounce into the phone application. Phone is completely different. Um, some people might like this, some people might not. I'm not too big of a fan of the way that this looks, but uh, at least it's different. It's customized. I mean, it looks new. 
Uh, the music application looks pretty much the same as always. Uh, nothing going on in the Facebook application. Weather looks nice and different. This looks pretty uh, customized. One thing that I really like about this tweak is that little uh, evasion icon to replace the city icon. So that's a nice little touch. So again, that one is called iShady HD and it's $2.50 from the Mod My Eye repo. All right, so next up is a theme called Ambriel, and this one is three dollars from the Mod My Eye repo. And you may have seen me review this in my last review, but this one was so good I had to do it again. So as you can see here, um, you've got all these customized icons, and just about every single um, icon is customized. So that's really nice. Let's jump into the notification center here. Um, I like the metallic look of the notification center; it looks pretty uh, nice. I know I've said clean about a thousand times already by now. Let's jump into the Safari application. Uh, so you've got that teal banner at the top there and you've got these customized images for back forward uh, share bookmark all right so let's jump into the messages application all right so in messages you've got these uh, a nice custom background as well as customized uh, incoming and outgoing message uh, colors there as well so that looks pretty nice so let's go ahead and leave the messages go into our phone application and in here you've got customized keys as well and a nice blue call button there um, music music application is nice and themed so you've got the colorized um, blue uh, shuffle button and some other things like the volume slider also that teal color uh, Facebook is actually different on this one so as you can see here, you've got customized uh, icons at the top here for your notifications and whatnot. Um, everything else, of course, inside of the actual uh, news feed and whatnot is the same, but you do get that customized banner at the top. Let's go into the weather application. Um, weather looks really nice here. Uh, you've got a completely different look uh, for your weather application. That's pretty cool. And finally, let's bounce into the camera. And the camera looks the same as always. Not too much uh, customization. Well, no customization going on at all in there. So overall, a really nice. I like the metallic look uh, for a lot of the banners and whatnot. So that one, again, is Ambriel. And that's $3 from the Mod My Eye repo. All right, so up next, this one is called Official Be Apple Theme. And this one is free from the Big Boss repo. You're really not getting a whole lot of customization or anything like that with this theme. It's really just the icons that are different here. Um, they look 3D with that gloss effect. Um, you're not getting anything for a notification center or a lock screen. Uh, it's really just the icons here that have changed. Uh, so if you like the simplicity of this theme, then you might uh, appreciate this one. So you can download this one again from the Big Boss repo. And again, this one comes for free. Next up is a theme called Nero Cube Siri 2, and this one is just a Siri theme, so let me just take my iPhone out and show you. So if you just hold your home button to activate Siri, you get a different look. Where is the nearest McDonald's? I found 15 restaurants matching McDonald's not far from you. I've sorted them by distance. Alright, so uh, I'm pretty hungry actually. So that is uh, Nero Cube Siri 2. Again, only $1 from the Mod My Eye repo. Alright, so for the last three themes, you will need Dreamboard. So if you don't have Dreamboard already, you can install that in Cydia. So let's bounce over to Gyro HD 3. So you might already be familiar with Gyro HD. It's been around for a while, but it has been optimized for the iPhone 5 display. So if you just drag on the uh, top here, you can switch between all of your applications, or at least some of your favorite applications there. Along the bottom here, you've got your dock, which has your phone, messages, music, and this applications icon. If you tap on that, then you can tap on all applications, and this will list all of your applications. Um, also take note that if you tap on Dreamboard, that will take you back to your Dreamboard switcher, so make sure that uh, you're aware of that, otherwise you might get lost in this uh, in this theme. Uh, games here, you can see all of your games. It doesn't do a great job of picking out your games until you go into edit mode. Um, and favorites as well, it'll pick out some favorites for you. If you swipe to the left, you get your choice of Facebook or Twitter widgets built in. So you can just tap on Twitter if you want to switch to Twitter. And there you go, you've got your Twitter feed right there. If you tap on settings, you can go into edit mode, you can change your wallpaper, you can set your weather. So let's go ahead and change the wallpaper here to, uh, let's change it to this guy right here. All right, so it looks like it changed it there. That's a pretty nice wallpaper. Um, so all in all, this looks really nice. I like how it has your weather here, so it grabs that via GPS. 
So again, this one is Gyro HD, and it's $2 from the Mod My Eye repo. All right, so next up is Boxer HD widescreen, so you'll need Dreamboard for this theme as well. And this one's an updated version, so it supports the iPhone 5 display, uh, but Boxer HD has been around for a while as well. Um, this one's really nice. You can see that you've got all of your applications along your home screens here, so you can slide and view all of your applications. You've got an RSS widget right there. Um, you can go to all of your applications here by just tapping the apps. Also, you can switch your widget on the side. So if we just go to the left, you've got Twitter. You can use Google or Facebook. So along the bottom here, you've got your music application, messages, phone. Uh, this will bring you back to your Dreamboard switcher, just like that, so you don't get lost inside of this theme. Uh, and you've got some changes here that you can make by tapping on the settings tab there. Uh, so the settings will go into your settings application, set weather, you can put in your weather.com uh, code, but it does pick up on your weather by default via GPS. Um, you can go into editing mode, and editing mode you can change around the uh, applications on the home screen, and you can change your wallpaper as well. So let's go with this green wallpaper there and save it. And let's tap on that guy one more time. There we go. Uh, so this one's really nice. I like how you can customize a lot about it. And it looks really nice and different from anything that you can get um, on a regular winter board theme. So again, this one is called Boxer HD Widescreen. It's $2.29 from the Mod My Eye repo. And the last theme I've got for you guys today is called IW Phone 8 iPhone 5. It's a Dreamboard theme, and it's a dollar fifty from the Mod My Eye repo. And this basically is a theme that will mimic the Windows 8 look. You can see that you've got live tiles along the side here. Um, this is like three applications in one along the top. You've got your clock application right there. You've got your weather over here, and you've got your... Um, calendar application on the left hand side there. Also you can see that the wallpaper here is scrolling from bottom to top so that's pretty cool. Um, it gives your iPhone a little bit of life here on the home screen. Um, this theme does assume that you have certain applications like I don't have WhatsApp Messenger but it puts it there in case I did have it. Um, I haven't found out any way to get into um, an editing mode so you can change some of the apps around but if you scroll to the right you can see all of your applications here listed alphabetically and if you tap on settings you can change the hours to 24 hour time or 12 hour time. Um, if you have Byte SMS then here on the let's go OK and go back. If you have Byte SMS then this messages application will actually launch Byte SMS instead of your default messages application. So let's disable that. And you can change the theme to a dark theme. So if you click OK and go back, now you can see that all of the text here and these icons are black instead of white. So this one's a really nice uh, looking uh, theme. Of course, it's completely different from anything you get with a Winterboard theme, and it looks a lot like uh, the Windows Phone 8 themes. So again, this one is called IW Phone 8 iPhone 5. And it's $1.50 from the Mod My Eye repo. Alright, so I want to hear from you guys. What are your favorite themes? Make sure to leave your comments down below. Also, make sure to give this video a like. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We've got lots of themes and tweak reviews for you. And of course, for more themes, tweaks, news, and reviews, make sure to check out JailbreakCity.com. This is Justin from JailbreakCity.com, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>